John, we have an email from John. Yes, we do. John emails the question straight from this week's headlines, and he writes, hey, could you explain what Netflix's recent deal with Warner Brothers is going to mean to us, the subscribers? Despite the spin, it sure doesn't seem like a very consumer-friendly move. DVDs will not be available until 28 days after release. This is apparently already in place, as movies released today from Warner are not available until February 16th. And I don't see the immediate availability of more media, or more movies for streaming. Right. And what gives? Is this going to be a good thing? Hmm. John from Billings, Montana. Yeah. Thank well, you, John. Here's the thing, John. Right. We live in an imperfect world where a lot of people like to download content they haven't paid for, which has the RAAA and the MPAA permanently freaked out. At least the MPAA hasn't started suing people left and right like other four-letter agencies. And feature movies, series, TV shows, they cost a metric ton of cash to produce, and studios and networks want to make their money back on their investment as much as possible, as quickly as possible. Now here's where Netflix comes in. By agreeing to delay the release on new Warner Brothers titles on Netflix for 28, 30 days, a chunk of time during which Warner Brothers probably hopes people will buy the disc. I gotta see that movie, I'm gonna go buy it, I gotta see that movie. You're not buying into that. <laughs> money. Well, I, I agree on making more money, though. Right. <laughs> so, as a result, Reed Hastings, the, the Netflix CEO, has negotiated more DVDs and Blu-rays for rentals from Warner Brothers and rights to more streaming content from Warner Brothers. And Warner Brothers, like the other studios, they are the suppliers. They have what everybody else wants, and lots and lots of people want to stream content. So the movie studios are basically pretty much in a, a position to dictate terms. Now, in the past, Mr. Hastings has had to go to retail suppliers when the studios tried to keep Netflix from buying new titles. He did an end run around them then. He did a deal with stars to get more streaming rights for online content so he wouldn't have to deal directly with the studios. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, the guys worked hard for you. And if you like the whole all-you-can-eat $9 a month pricing for movies on Netflix, Mr. Hastings is going to have to keep making deals, especially to, to get streaming rights on new content. And he believes streaming is the future, not disc. You know, he's like, disc is going to be around for another 20 years, but streaming is going to be the bulk of our business. So he made the deal. Look, I'm not holding my breath for a payment system to be tagged on all the Torrent clients and servers out there, which would be nice, right? Download anything you want from anywhere you want because the overlord in the sky is watching and they'll, you know, tag your credit card. You're in a fantasy world. Yeah, well, it, and it's interesting, right? The Boxy, the little social version of XBMC that could, is adding a payment platform this summer to bring more premium content to Boxy users, another revenue stream to Boxy. Netflix, basically, they need more streaming content to stay competitive. They're doing deals. And the reality is, is you know, new titles only 30% of Netflix's business, so they're probably saying, okay, I'll give them this, they'll give me something I want, and like you, I eagerly await all of those new online streaming titles. They'll show up, I'm pretty sure. Good deal. That's what good contracts and lawyers are for. <laughs> if they can deliver more streaming content, I'm for a delay in getting my disc by another month. That's yeah. okay. It's I not perfect, it. I mean. No, but, you know, give me that streaming content, because I'm, I'm finding it very <laughs> convenient. Let me put it yes. that way. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.